We've been working together for, I think, a year now, something like that. And you are working on something pretty cool. But I think most of the stuff that you're working on could be more beneficial for townships uh, than for Dutch uh, suburbs. So can you uh, explain a bit about the stuff that you're working on? So my name is Anna and I'm um, uh, uh, the director of InnoFest. So um, um, in InnoFest we combine innovation and festivals. Um, and it may sound a bit odd um, in the beginning because festivals are about fun and beers and bands. Um, and innovation is about research, rapid prototyping, entrepreneurship, a lot of about a lot of other stuff. Uh, but in the end, we really found a really smart way to accelerate innovation. Um, Martijn, shall I just proceed? I'm, I'm, I'm having no feedback at all, so... Um, yeah, you're doing fine. Continue. You're doing fine. Just continue. Oh, great. Thanks. So I really wish I could be there myself to explain it to you a bit more um, in a bit more clear way, but I hope it's working out. So InnoFest is about innovation and festivals. And in InnoFest, we provide eight festivals as living labs for innovation testing. Um, I'm going to explain to you why this is a, is a good idea, um, what we've achieved so far. And I've also um, sent Martijn a little movie, uh, which will illustrate the projects we're doing. Um, so first of all, why is this a good idea? Um, Festivals are, we see festivals as a, as a temporary mini society, um, just as in the real society you have challenges um, which include um, uh, sustainable energy, water, uh, waste treatment um, and the logistics as well because there's a lot of people at the festival and they all have to sleep somewhere and have to eat. So the uh, challenges the festival has are pretty much similar to the ones in society. But uh, one of the great advantages of the festival is that everything is measurable because you know what comes in and what goes out. And it's a temporary place. So you could actually just rapidly change the place um, um, and, um, yeah, and, and include innovations in your mini society that the festival is. Um, if, for instance, in Cape Town you would like to test new sustainable energy solutions, you need to change the entire energy grid, but in a festival, you just build it for the weekend or for the week. So you can just include it and get feedback on your innovation. So um, that's what we do at InnoFest. Um, that's one of the advantages, but a big advantage is also all the people that walk around at the festival, because all those people are in the end, they are your end users of your innovation. So you can also just experiment and test your innovations with all those people. Um, and that's really beneficial. Um, so far, we've um, we started well. We started a year ago, but also a bit before that. But um, uh, our nonprofit InnoFest has been here since a year. Um, we've done around thirty projects last year, uh, mostly with startups, but also with um, um, entrepreneurs that are around for a longer time, students, researchers, creative people, and in total, these thirty projects have really accelerated innovation. Um, I think now it's time to show you a small movie um, because we like to show you what we're doing. Um, and in the movie you see two things that we do. Uh, it's a movie of one of the festivals, it's called Welcome to the Village Festival. It's a festival for around 8,000 people in the middle of the nature. So all the energy, water, um, it's all off grid. And at this festival we um, have a project which is called Dor, and that's the Dutch word for village. And um, um, in this project, before the festival actually starts, um, around 100 entrepreneurs, students, creatives, scientists all work together on challenges. And uh, their aim is to solve the challenge within one week and build a prototype. And when the festival actually starts, uh, to test and implement the prototype. So it's a very, very quick and effective innovation pipeline, a mini innovation pipeline. So the movie, um, um, it's, um, I'm, I'm going to show you, um, has four projects in it. The first project is, um, um, there were way more projects by the way, but there's, it points out four. Um, it has some subscriptions and some subtitles in Dutch, but um, so I'm going to explain to you real quickly what you're going to see. The first um, a challenge was how to provide um, a mobile hotel in nature that is self-sustaining, and the solution is the Beehive Hotel. 
Um, another one was how to build sustaining lighting for a festival. Um, and uh, what you see is that they've built um, mini lamps with mini processes and the lamps can talk to each other. Uh, so they created an art project out of it. Um, you also see two innovations that are just being tested at the festival site. Uh, one is a hydro washer. It's a machine that, that washes your hands and dries your hand with 10 milliliters of water. You don't need any soap, you don't need any towels. Uh, so that's an interesting innovation. And you, the last one you will see is the aqua battery. And it's an innovation that's tested at the festival site. And it has no toxic elements. Um, it's, it consists of fresh water and salt water. So it's a really cool one. Um, I have no clue what's happening. Uh, so we hope that there's a movie to show um, okay, and we, enjoy we, it. We're going to test that and then we'll get back to you. Let's, let's try to figure out yeah. if we can make that happen. Thank you so much. Uh, so... Anna, you're still there? Great. Yes, I am. Okay. Can you still, understand? Can you still hear me? Yeah, we can. So, okay, great. So, now to 
And, and a few things before I pass the word back to you, Martijn. Yeah. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, that is okay. okay. Well, um, yeah, great. So, so you saw four innovation projects we did at um, uh, Welcome to the Village Festival. Um, at this particular festival, we did some more um, projects. But um, what is important to say is that there is a lot of spin-off of these projects. For instance, the, the small light, the lighting product you saw, the one with the, the lighting that has its own solar panel and microprocessor, you saw it, it became an artwork um, at, at the boat near the festival. But um, they're also being used to um, uh, light up one of the hiking routes uh, um, in the province of Drenthe in the Netherlands. Uh, but they, they've also been shown at Taipei in Taiwan, one and two weeks ago. So you see that there's a lot of spin-off, not only for the festival industry, but also outside of the festival industry, because a festival is actually nothing more than a mini society. So that's an important thing to say. Um, also, um, we started off this year in the Netherlands, but we're looking to expand to a couple of other European regions. And in the Netherlands, we really do this as a regional project. So we're mostly working with regional entrepreneurs, knowledge institutions, and festivals to um, actually just provide the, the, the region with an economic boost, with an, with an innovation boost. And so far, we've been doing really well. So some of the other European regions in Germany, Denmark, uh, but also the UK are interested to participate as well and to set up their own invest. So um, we might be doing that, we hope we will really be doing that from June on. Um, we are starting already. Um, and we continue, um, we will at least continue this for the next year. So we aim at yeah, around 40 projects, projects each year. Um, and an interesting thing is that we say that the festival is a mini society. Um, but I think a festival is even more comparable to townships, even more than a city like Amsterdam or uh, one of the cities in the Northern Netherlands. So I think there's a lot to learn from um, innovation at the festival for a township as well. So that's, that's what, that was it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let, let's uh, figure out uh, if we can get some questions out of the audience. And what do you need to build this thing in, uh, in Africa as well? Yeah, well, well, we started this from the festivals, but there's other starting points necessary as well. Um, and, and, and you can start this already with a, with a minimum budget, because we know the festivals are already there, so we didn't pay them to use their festivals as a living lab. And on the other hand, the innovation is also already there, looking for a place to test. So InnoFest just merely connects the two. So we started out with festivals, but you could, could also start out with um, uh, on the other side, at the innovation side. But to do this, you would need um, um, uh, a governmental institution that wants it, um, one of the festivals, a knowledge institution, and some companies just to kick it off. Okay, let's get let's try to get some questions from the audience. Uh, I'll ask them here, and then I will bring them back to you. Maybe that's the best way to do this. So, uh, thank you so much, and we can give a small round of applause for Anna. <laughs> that is applause. Uh, <laughs> Okay, anyone, uh, any question to Anna? What do you think of the idea? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so uh, any questions for Anna on uh, how she does it? Uh, uh, any questions on, uh, uh, or ideas on uh, how to bring this to Africa? Well, the, the, the light innovation could be a very interesting one because light and safety in a township is a big issue. Ah. So that could be a very, very interesting one, especially if it's low tech. Yeah. Anna, uh, laaghangend fruit, uh, well, low hanging fruit, so it's, it's the light thing that resonates immediately because lights in townships mean safety. So, if, especially if it's low tech, it could be a very good idea. So, put it on the list. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Any other questions or contributions? One here? in terms of sustainability, are there other regions or in like other um, departments of like problems that they're looking into or is it um, simply just sustainable energy? Okay, Anna, are you focusing with InnoVest on just particular sustainable uh, things to solve in the field of innovation or is your scope uh, much broader? 
Yes, interesting one. Um, that really surprised us in our first year. There's much more possible than just the sustainability issues around energy and water waste. Um, so I have to say that around 60%, 70% of the projects have a link to sustainability in a way. Um, but we've also experimented with financial technologies, uh, with social projects, so social innovation has been a thing, um, crowd management solutions, censoring um, 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 uh, and crowd monitoring. Um, so uh, everything you could innovate in the city is actually possible within a festival, I believe. Um, so actually we've got a new applicant uh, last week um, he is uh, building a point of care test for cervical cancer. So he's actually um, um, building a medical innovation and he sees a value in InnoVest because he thinks that point of care solutions, which you have to apply yourself, are very undesirable with a large group of people. So he wants to test how he should market his um, um, cancer test uh, that people could use for themselves. So that's a whole different question. It's actually a social innovation question of a, a medical issue. Um, but even the festival can help for his question. So that's interesting. Okay, thank you. Maybe one or two more questions, then we're going to wrap up. Um, anybody else? Oh. I think they're a bit shy. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, then, then that was it. Anna, thank you so much. Uh, next time we bring you here uh, yeah, in person. So, uh, and it's, uh, yes. we try to have, um, actually this week we tried to have a meeting with the guys from Burn Africa or Africa Burn and uh, an Ultra. So, um, so let's see how we can uh, make that happen. Thank you so much. See you in the Netherlands. Bye bye. Yes, bye. Bye. bye.